always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. All right, soak it in. Look at these quad cams. Sunshine, every single one of them. And I think this is the last time for quite some time we're going to be able to show you four cameras with sunshine and a bright blue sky. We're going to change that pattern. We've already felt it change in terms of temperatures. Now, in the coming days, it's going to change to a wetter direction. First, I wanted to show you this. This is a prolific, just an amazing heat wave that we had back in 2017. I wanted to show you to it show it to you today because look at today's high temperature back in 2017, 96 degrees, exceptionally rare to have a temperature 25 degrees above average. And that's what we did back on this date about five years ago. And by the way, those temperatures were the warmest temperatures of uh, 2017. It happened in September, just crazy. Okay, where we are right now? Uh, 56 degrees in Grand Rapids, 58 in Kalamazoo and also in the Muskegon area. Pretty good rebound from morning lows that were hovering in the upper 30s. And here's a look at the high pressure that's firmly in control. That would, that's what helped clear off the sky last night and also a calm wind. And now it's going to shift to the south and east. Now upstream, you can see a fair amount of clouds out there. Those will be streaming in during the afternoon. The big question mark, will we get any rain showers out of this? The rain showers now are just still west of Mississippi, but this is all coming east fairly quick. I wouldn't rule out a stray sprinkle this evening, uh, but I think most of us staying dry. I kind of a different perspective. This is the visible satellite loop, and you can see uh, those clouds marching uh, right into West Michigan, probably in the course of the next uh, three hours or so. Uh, future cast, again, here you go. High pressure uh, moves to the east. You can see a couple sprinkles out there moving through uh, during the late, mid to late evening. Better chance of a shower. Uh, could even be an isolated thunderstorm tomorrow morning and throughout the day on Saturday. One could pop up at any time. It certainly does not look like an all day rain, but anytime during the day, a shower is possible. Area of low pressure moves through, and that's going to generate more showers, especially on the back side of it as we head into the Sunday time frame. Notice how this moisture just wraps right in. So, both days we're going to have a decent chance of rain. Uh, rainfall future cast doesn't have a lot of rain with a, over, throughout the weekend. This takes us to about 7 o'clock on Sunday evening. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, do uh, prepare yourself for some rain this weekend. Now, this evening, it's going to be a different football frenzy. Light jacket for a change or sweatshirt will likely be needed. We've enjoyed just amazingly warm and uh, sunny football frenzies the previous weeks. But this one's cooler for sure. And notice I put a little sprinkle there uh, for the tail end of the game. That is possible. But I don't think it's going to be heavy enough where you'll need an umbrella. Okay, here's the weekend forecast. Low to mid-60s for daytime highs. I think along the Michigan-Indiana state line on Saturday, temperatures may approach 70 degrees. But notice five consecutive days in a row. I'm trying to remember the last time we've had that. Uh, in the eight-day forecast with a chance of rain all the way through Wednesday. Fortunately, it looks like the tail end of next week, uh, we start to bring back a little more in the way of sunshine out there. And uh, so I'm sure that will be welcome after the stretch of weather uh, heading our way. You know, Matt, it was very cold this morning, Frenzy. <laughs> but now that the sun's up, <laughs> yeah, I'm walking around out here, our price, it feels pretty nice yeah, out. Yeah, it always helps when the sun's out yeah. and the wind's light. That, yeah. That's a key. I think my hot tea's finally kicking <laughs> in. Finally warmed back up, Emily. <laughs>